يا شهر الندى يا شهر البركات يا رمضان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهدي ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله أما بعد قال الله تعالى في كتابه الجليل يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون Respected viewers, brothers and sisters, again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessed month of Ramadan. And now I'm going to discuss about why the fasting of the month of Ramadan is crucial importance, paramount important. The reason is very simple. Because this month is truly a very intimate month for a Muslim to his Lord. If you see the obligations in the Holy Quran, you will almost find that there is no single commandment, there is no single order of Allah in the Holy Quran that is begun by Ya Ayyuhalladina Amin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to pray. He doesn't say Ya Ayyuhalladina Amin wa aqimu salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to give zakat. He didn't say Ya Ayyuhalladina Amin give zakat. He wants us to do hajj. He doesn't say, Ya Allah, amanu hajju. Or all believers go and perform hajj. When it comes to Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly stated very, very, very plain in front of us. When he says, Ya Allah, amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam. Fasting had been prescribed upon you. Why amanu is called? Why Iman is called, why faith is called. Because this observance, these actions, this fasting, my brothers and sisters, is a very, very much intimate connection between a servant and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you do salat, people can see you making ruku' and sujood. You can move, your recitation being heard by others. When you do give zakat, at least two people are involved. The one who is giving and the one who is receiving. When you perform hajj, millions of people are watching. But fasting nobody knows. None knows that you are fasting. Because possibly you can go drink in the, in the bathroom and come out pretending to be thirsty. Nobody knows. That is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called the fasting people, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, or you who believe, Fasting had been prescribed upon you. Now, what is the consequence of this? If fasting is a very intimate connection between a servant and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then what is the result? One of the most important results is that we are learning how to have the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our life. We are learning, training ourselves to have Allah in our life. My brothers, this is very crucial, important. Very, very crucial, important. Why? Because when someone has Allah in his life, then his life will become easier. He is becoming stronger. He is becoming powerful in facing the challenges of life. Brothers, this life is full of challenges. Life moving. Sometimes you're happy, tomorrow you'll be sad. Today you are rich, you don't know what will happen, and tomorrow you're becoming bankrupt and become poor. But for believers, the changes that happen in life will not change their mentality. When they become rich, they are not booster, they are not becoming arrogant. But when they are poor, they don't have to sell themselves to become so humiliating. That is the belief of my brothers and sisters. When Islam came to Mecca, in Mecca, al mukarramah there were some people who were so, so respected. Abu Bakr, Allahu An, Umar, Allahu An. But when they became Muslim, they became so humble. Humble to Rasulullah, humble to other Muslims around. There are some others who are very, very much poor. They are slaves. Bilal, Radiallahu An. 
But by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they became Muslims, alhamdulillah. And they became, became honor, honorable. They became respectful, respected. Why? Because Islam is the real respect and the real honor. That's why my brothers and sisters like to mention a story of a sister who became Muslims a long time ago, seven, eight years back. She was a Hispanic. This sister, Alhamdulillah, she became a Muslim because she got to know a man. And when they knew one another and they fall in love, the man was so nice, very soft, very kind, very helpful. So finally the sister became a Muslim and they married. But sooner after they married, got married, the man changed. He became so harsh. He abused her. He hit her. Until two years, three years, she got two kids. And the husband divorced her. But alhamdulillah, she is no Muslim. She didn't have a job. She has two kids. So she must when go somewhere else to find some shelter. Luckily enough that in this country, in America, there are some churches that are so nice. The churches get her a shelter in the church, somewhere in Manhattan. Finally, she got a job. And in that job, this sister become a friend with another sister, another lady in that, in that store, another Hispanic lady. And this Hispanic lady watched her very closely because she came to the store every day with different outfit, out, out, outfit, with different clothing, with hijab. But she came to the store every day smiling. So one day the lady asked her, she said to her, don't you have any problem in life? Because I see you coming to the store smiling, happy. And the sister, the Muslim sister talked to her, said, if you, want, if you know what I have in my life, I think you are not going to handle it. And she talked about her problems. And the sister cried, listening to her problem. But then she asked, why then you are so, looks like you are so happy. Looks like you don't have any problem. And that Muslim, Muslim lady said to her, because I have Allah in my life. I have my Lord in my life. When, they, when she said that to her, this sister became shaken because of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enter into her heart. And at that moment, she said to her, I want to have Allah also in my life. And Alhamdulillah, to make the story short, she became a Muslim because of that story. My point here, brothers and sisters, that when we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our life, we are becoming stronger in facing the challenges of life. We are becoming peaceful in facing the challenges of life. Remember the story of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he wanted to do hijrah to Medina. He was with his sahaba, with his, uh, Abu Bakr allahu an, who went to one of the caves in Mecca, Ghar Thor. He entered into that cave, my brothers and sisters, and the enemies, 10 people, killers, who were ready to kill Rasulullah sallam, were outside of the, the cave. Abu Bakr allahu an, who saw them with their swords, ready to cut off the neck of Rasulullah sallam. Abu Bakr cried, not for the safety for himself, but for the safety of his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Bakr said to uh, uh, Rasulullah sallam saw he, him crying. And Rasulullah sallam said to him, La tahzan inna Allah ma'ana. Do not be sad because Allah is with us. This story is recorded in the Holy Quran. إِذْ هُمَا فِي الْغَارِ إِذْ قَالَ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا When they are both in the, in the cave, and he said to his sahaba, to his friends, don't be sad because Allah is with us. So by that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved them. By that, Allah put tranquility and peace in their minds, and they are saved by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But brothers and sisters, fasting is teaching us how to have Allah in our life insha'Allah ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Ramadan Ya Ramadan Ya Call of Peace, Save Humanity.